Today we're going to talk about how to access Google Groups for the purpose of responding to a forum to talk about topics brought up in ALT. So I want to first talk to you about how to access your HutchDocs account. There are two different ways that you can go about doing this. The first is if you are having trouble accessing um, the website itself, you can go to the USD 308 webpage and under staff resources you can see oops, the HutchDocs Google Apps for Education site. One thing that I want to show you that once you know will help your staff tremendously um, because you'll be able to help troubleshoot them, truly you will become the oracle with all the knowledge, I promise. Um, if you do click on that little link from the USD 308 website, this is the page that you get. And here's what teachers do. They've been trained that their username is their email. So this is what they do. They put Riley A at HutchDocs.com. Look what happens. When Janine set this up, she put at HutchDocs.com right here. People don't notice that. So they go ahead and put their full username up here, then they put their password, then they sign in. Then they get this error message that says, password can't contain an at sign. So then they try to change their password. And then they go through this whole process that confuses the heck out of them, when all along, all they needed to do was come up here and get rid of this. You don't need that because it's already here. Okay, so if you go to the USD 308 website, or if you bookmark this, and you sign in through this, all you need is your last name first initial because the at hutchdocs.com is already there. And then your password and then you sign in. Another way that you can get where you want to go, and this is, I don't know why, but this is what I do all the time, is I go to drive.google.com and I sign in this way all the time. I don't know, because drive is what I use. I don't really use the mail. Um, so I just go to drive.google.com and sign in this way and this that works for me. So that's how I access the actual account. So now let's talk about how to access the groups. I'm going to show you Katie Taylor's account because um, when we created the forum, I created it and so I'm the owner and it looks a little bit different than people who are viewing it and I want to make sure that you see what not what I see, but what users see. So this is Katie's account. And a couple of important things to remember. This is huge, okay? This is your navigation bar. And there used to be a little black strip across the top that said drive and contacts and groups. And when they updated it a few months ago, they got rid of that. And what's interesting is, you know, they don't tell you things like that. They just happen. So I can remember signing on and thinking, where did everything go? And it just takes a little bit of playing and then it shows up. But, you know, it does. there's a little moment of freak out at first when you're wondering where everything went. So all you have to do is click on this and then you can see everything that is in uh, your Google Apps for Education account. Don't forget, when you have time, play with this because there is more that you have access to all of this stuff okay but for right now we're going to click on groups so we came up and we clicked on these nine boxes and then we're going to click on groups once we click on groups it's going to take us to our um, Google groups and show us what groups we belong to now the same day that we had ALT a month ago, we created the forum and we invited you all. Um, but typically, I don't think you check your account email, your HutchDocs account email. So I'm not sure how many of you actually joined that. And then, whoops, let me get rid of that. And then right before Thanksgiving, we sent out a second invite and I direct added you. And so you should be already part of this forum. So once you log in and you go to groups, I think you're already included, but you might want to check your, your email just to make sure, your HutchDocs email. Now, one huge thing to note is right here. Okay, I am in Internet Explorer because I have my HutchDocs account pulled up in Mozilla. 
when I talked to Dr. K this morning and was doing some troubleshooting with her, I told her Internet Explorer is not the browser that you want to use for Google Groups and here's why. It comes right up with you are using a version of Internet Explorer with Google Groups. Um, they don't support Google because Microsoft owns Internet Explorer. So probably shouldn't use Internet Explorer with Google products, which is interesting because all of our PCs have Internet Explorer on them, yet we're a Google Apps for Education uh, district now. So we're working to push Chrome out on a lot of those. So anyway, I would use Mozilla Firefox or I would use Chrome when working in um, Google Apps for Ed and Hutch Docs. All right, so once you pull this up, you can click on My Groups. You should see ALT Art and Science. Click on that. And then here we go. You should see First Post. When you click on First Post, right up here are your instructions. It says to get started, and then it tells you what you need to do. Here are the responses so far. And then Dr. K has uh, put another question right over here for you to answer. And then I think she's going to be sending out an email today about expectations for this forum. So look for that. Here's how to answer. Click on post reply. Once you click on that, you'll have a uh, little box that pops up. You can type your reply right here. You can do all the same things that you can do in Word. You can even put links in, you can put pictures in. Um, bold, change your text, attach a file if you want to, uh, and then click on post. To get back, you hit that arrow. And then if you want to put a topic that you want people to respond to, click on new topic. And again, it would work in the same way. You would type it here. Make sure you would put a subject. So if we're talking about something specific in ALT that you want to address, put the topic and you can start your own thread. And that is basically how uh, Google Forums work. Again, if you want to use this with your staff, you can create your own group right here and add your staff members to the group. If all of your staff is not part of HutchDocs yet, if you have not asked me to create accounts for them, I'd be happy to do so. Just let me know. And if you would like a little bit more help with this, please contact me. Don't be afraid to do so. There's never a dumb question. We tell our students to ask if they don't understand something. So, you know, I'm learning right along with you on some of these things. So please don't hesitate to call me. Thank you.